Hey, hey, how's it going, everybody? As you can see, I got some groceries, so you probably know what that means. Yep, another installment of Kook's Kitchen. But if you don't already know, we're in a brand new location right now. That's because your boy Soto is finally in his upperclassman years, meaning he has his own place and his own kitchen. It's pretty awesome. So to kick it off, I'm going to have a nice little housewarming party, and I'm going to teach you guys how to make some awesome, easy snacks for any party or just for yourself. Oh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. All this right here, right now on season three, you like that, huh, of Kook's Kitchen. Let's go in, y'all. <laughs> Hey y'all, what's good everybody? My name is Jose Soto and this is Still Coog's Kitchen, the college survival cooking show where I teach you guys how to make a home cooked meal away from home. As I mentioned earlier, this is a brand new place, but I mean it's so awesome. I got my own stove, my own oven, my own sink, I mean, what more could you ask for, right? And to kick this all off, I decided to have a nice little housewarming party later, and for that I'm going to be teaching y'all how to make two things. Stuffed mushrooms and pigs in a blanket. They're both super simple to do and very quick to make, alrighty? So, I guess y'all wanna get started as much as I do. So the ingredients we're gonna need are... For the stuffed mushrooms, some whole baby bellas, spinach, shredded mozzarella, and salt and pepper to taste. For the pigs in a blanket, some dogs, croissant dough, and sliced cheddar. All right, fantastic. Now that we have all ingredients together, let's start making these bomb dishes. First thing we're gonna do is start preparing the stuffed mushrooms. So, we're gonna grab our whole mushroom, and before you start working with these, please make sure that you do clean them because some of them might have some extra dirt on the outside of the surface of them, okay? All right, so we're gonna take the mushroom, and you wanna take out the stem. You're gonna hear a nice little snap. Yeah, just like that. So, just remove the stem, put it to the side. Next. Take a spoon or anything just to scoop out the nice little insides of the mushroom. And you just want to do so just to create a little more room for it to uh, have some nice little contents inside. Just scrape it out a little bit. You don't want to go too hard on this though because you'll definitely be risking like actually breaking the whole mushroom. And that's, then you just won't be the fun guy there. <laughs> okay, well I'm just gonna, yeah. All right, so just gonna keep doing that a little bit. All right, I think this is a nice little crevice like that. Fantastic. So, put all the uh, little residue to the side. And now we're gonna start stuffing the mushroom. First thing, take some mozzarella cheese. Just gonna layer it first, right there. And what the cheese does is that it adds a nice creaminess, gooiness, and it acts as a glue for the other ingredients that go inside here. Right, so next we're gonna take the spinach, and as you can see, the spinach is in nice little ribbons like so. So here's how you do it. Lay your leaves flat on the cutting board, then roll them up nice and tight. Then with your hand curled, make those beautiful thin slices. Voila! <laughs> what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take a clump of the spinach, nice little pinch, yeah, and just really pack it into the mushroom. Just like that. It's okay if some of it pops out, right? Little guy wants to get away or something. Not gonna let that happen. All right, next, we're gonna season the mushroom with a little bit of salt. Some black pepper. Finally, we're gonna do one more layer of cheese on top. Because, I mean, come on now, you can't have too much cheese. <laughs> well, unless you're lactose intolerant, but, I mean, that's a whole different thing. All right. Beautiful, and look at that. All righty, y'all, I'm just going to continue finishing these other mushrooms, and I'll be right back to y'all when I'm done. Alrighty, awesome. Now that the stuffed mushrooms are nice and finished and they're waiting on the sheet tray, let's start making those pigs in a blanket. And these are just incredibly easy, all right? So, first thing we're gonna do, just gonna take our cheese, place it right on top of the croissant 
dough. All right, next, you're gonna take your frank, and I'm using beef. You can use any kind of other frank you'd like, you know, vegetarian, if you wanna go that route, you can definitely do that. If you're more of a fan of pork, you can do that, whatever you like. All right, so you're just gonna take your frank, set it on the wider end of the croissant dough, then we're just gonna roll that bad boy up. Look how easy that is. Just roll all the way up. Boom. And just to recapture the action, I'm gonna do it the second time. Just roll it up. Oh man, this is like bringing the kid out of me. My mom used to make these all the time and I got super stoked when they, uh, when they were made. I mean, unfortunately though, like nine times out of 10, they were for her work. But anyways, see that? It's super easy, these are done. Now let's transfer these to the sheet pan, all right? Here we go. And so what's really cool is that the sheet pan's big enough for you to uh, bake both items on here. Beautiful. And now I have the uh, oven preheated to 375 degrees and I'm just gonna take the food, place it in here like so. All right, and you're just gonna want to let those bake for about 12 to 15 minutes or until the croissant dough is nice and golden brown and the cheese on the stuffed mushrooms will be ooey gooey. All righty, I'll see y'all then. All right, well don't both of these just look awesome? <laughs> oh man, I don't know what's, which one to start first. Hmm, we'll go with the mushroom. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That is awesome. You get the creaminess from the mozzarella, nice fresh bite from the spinach. And what's insane is that that mushroom is so juicy and it almost like, it almost gives a nice meatiness to it, but without the meat. Oh man, any vegetarian or in fact, any meat lover would just love this thing. Awesome, awesome. All right, now let's try the pigs in a blanket. Mmm. <laughs> That's what's up, dog. <laughs> oh man, and frankly, I think these are just awesome. <laughs> okay, but seriously, these are just great. Definitely, you know, just remind me of those times when I was a kid and my mom made these. Super awesome. All right, y'all, well, you could sound pretty stuffed, but seriously though, I got a game to go to. Hopefully I don't lose my voice. <laughs> and after that, we got a nice little housewarming party to go to. Here we go. <laughs> Alrighty, cool y'all, so basically everyone's finished eating. Uh, I know my voice sounds a little raunchy right now, but last night I was at the football game and we killed it. Uh, but along with that, I just killed my vocals too. But let's see what they all think of the food, all right? Let's go check it out. All right guys, so I just wanna start off by saying, please excuse me, my voice is a little hoarse, you know? Went to the game and kinda just like let loose there. But anyway, so thanks for coming. Really appreciate it. I gotta ask first off, what did y'all think of the food? I thought it was fantastic, man. Honestly, the like cheddar cheese, like with them, like pigs in the blanket, just made it. it nice, so nice. What about you? What'd you yeah, think? Yeah, no. Honestly, the flavors are so good. I love salt, and I tasted salt, and it was great. And I came for mushrooms, but I love the food. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What about you, man? Freaking amazing. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, the flavors flavor. just blended. Just wonderful, man. Well, I have to say, uh, I'm not really a big pigs in the blanket fan, but this, yeah, this was great. All right, and good stuff. The mushrooms were great. It was uh, it's great. I can't. It's great. Awesome, man. It was uh, yummy in my tummy. Good stuff, dude. Good stuff. All right, so I got to ask, would you believe that I did this all here too? Uh, well, perhaps if you were a professional chef or hey, perhaps had training, maybe. But uh, I guess not. Like on first impressions, no. Everything. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah, it was awesome. Oh yeah, you know, like I said, food is magic, y'all. No, that surprises me. I yeah. haven't seen much around campus, so I don't know what's possible. <laughs> yeah, I'm very surprised, dude. Tastes cool. a lot better than the kitchen food. That's Thanks. Dang. Thanks, y'all. Cool. Good stuff. And uh, last thing I got to ask, so what are y'all hoping to get out of this new school year? I'm hoping to uh, get more of your food. 
Pacific Friday. To be honest, that's all I was gonna say. Well, actually, I actually like to talk about that. You see, I have my own show. Yeah. Uh, with Coop TV, it's called This Is Sketchy. All it's right. A new sketch comedy show we're doing here. It's going to be very funny. We're very excited about that. It's called This Is Sketchy, and this is delicious. All right, good stuff, y'all. So stay tuned to This Is Sketchy. Uh, your cooking abilities. Oh, hey. <laughs> What about, what are y'all thinking? If I could just get your cooking, that, that'd be fine with me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for money though. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, cool. Well, alrighty guys. You could say that these two dishes were the life of the party. <laughs> all right, but that's all the time I have for today. Stay tuned, cause there's plenty more to come from of season three of Coop's Kitchen. Until then, my name is Jose Soto. And always remember that if a simple college student like me can make a home cooked meal away from home, then so so can you. Go Cougs! <laughs>